Right. Um, <laughs> talking about viruses, I'm trying to do this as best I can. Um, oh, and I'm not even sure because I can't remember how I got this to. <laughs> how I got this to uh, video in the proper way. I've got a funny feeling this is going to turn up upside uh, on its head. Um, something I've been suffering with just recently, coincidentally you may even say, to the um, threat, and I will say a threat, because that was the nature of the email uh, in Pogo. This is coming up on adverts in Edge, Microsoft Edge. Um, I've been having trouble with it ever since I've had this, which is not very long. This this can, this laptop is uh, not even a year old, I don't believe. And um, yeah, I've been having lots of aggro with this. Um, because it's the uh, it was a 10s originally, so it must no, it maybe is a year old then. Um, it was a 10s, and um, you are protected by a Windows Defender. Um, so you can't, you can only have while you're in S mode what. Microsoft give you you're you're really tied you can't you can't download Google if you download Google you then um, go back to like a Windows 10 computer uh, I I would actually say in in format this is very similar to Norton's, Norton's uh, virus protection. Um, it, Norton's used to take over your computer. Uh, it was a diabolical virus protection. Um, and I believe, you may think this is slanderous, but it is not. I, I, this is my experience. Um when you come to install Norton's, it was, there are others, because Kapersky was the same. Kapersky was another one. Trying to uninstall them, uh, it was a nightmare. And, oh, the other one is, oh, dear, dear, dear. I can't remember. I know um, there's a certain bank that uses this software. And I wrote them many, many letters. I wrote my bank many, many letters saying that I would never, ever download it. Um, because my friend uh, had had the issue before me. It forewarned me um, that this software was diabolical. And I'm afraid to say, Microsoft Edge is exactly the same. Had I known that you couldn't download Google or come away from Google without blah, 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 because I didn't even know that you was going to be protected by um, Windows Defender. I knew nothing about this S um, version. You know, I actually bought it by mistake because I didn't know. I, you know, it was just a an inform an infor information that I just didn't know. Um, had I known, I've never ever gone and touched it. But I feel sorry to people that have because they must be going through the same issues. Um, when uh, well, <laughs> no, I don't want to go into that. Um, this screenshot was taken. This is what I get when you mistakenly you mistakenly click on an advert rather than 
a story. So you may deduce what I'm talking about from that. Um, this is very Pogo-like. Now, I've got to take you back in this story. Decades. Decades, decades, decades. Um, and i got to go back. Oh, jeez. I can't, I can't think. Um, this is the... Or to, or you can even go back to AOL. Uh, that's, that's how far you can go back. You can go back to the old AOL. Y Yahoo was another one. That's very similar to what I'm experiencing with this now. These are all um, flawed. You know, um, Windows... This Windows is crap. I would never, ever, ever, if anybody ever asked me about this, I I would, well, yeah, anyway, um, never make this mistake. It's crap. It's crap. That's what I'm going to say. Um, and you, you use this at, at your peril. You use this, I've, I've pleaded with Microsoft, uh, not Microsoft as a company, but the Edge as a company. I've been giving them feedback from their poxy um, piece of crap and not getting anywhere. They're just silent, very silent. Um and I actually invited them to, um, what is it, I, I can't think of what, remote viewing, cool oh, blimey, I'm glad my brain worked then, to, you know, do this while I'm searching, blah, 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 and um, still nothing, um, these three boxes, they appear in succession and you cannot get out of it. I, I do know how to get out of it now, but that's only through trial and error. The first time, um, you just couldn't. The whole screen was locked up. Um, and luckily that time, luckily that time, control, delete, the Vulcan dev grip, that worked. It got me out of a hole. But since then, and it was very close to when this first happened, my computer locked up and there's not a thing I could do about it. Not a thing. Nothing worked. The Vulcan death grip never worked. Uh, Alt, Alt and uh, F4, that never worked. What's the other one? I'm trying to remember the other one. And that wouldn't work. I can't get to the battery on this. You have to take it all to bits. It's not like my old laptop. You could just, you know, take take the battery out. And I'm not sure that that would have been a good idea while the computer was on. But I would have done it this particular time. Anyway, um, I literally tried everything. I tried forcing it to go to sleep, which it wouldn't do. Um, everything. <laughs> it, it, I was going out of my mind. Uh, I went on the phone to find out um, uh, information, you know, because uh, it's the only th the only thing I had. You know, without this laptop, I've got nothing. Um, but uh, yeah, I'm seriously thinking about ditching this laptop now. Um, I had. Um, I can't, I can't remember what happened this morning when this happened. Something came up um, from Microsoft. And um, it's about sharing information with them. And that's what I've done. I've, uh, I've, given, I've given them access. Whatever happens now, I don't really particularly care. Because um, 
never again will I trust Microsoft at the moment as it stands. Never again. Um, and to be honest, I think I, I've had enough of computers now. Um, it's just beyond belief. You know, um, Microsoft, as big as it is, I will take this further though. If if Microsoft do not sort this out, I will take this further. Um, because it's diabolical. Um, you know, it, they are at fault. Because they are the ones that are forcing me to do what they want. You know, um, when I first bought this uh, with Windows 10... It was it was a flipping nightmare. Um, it would not do. Again, this goes back to Norton. It would not do what you wanted it to do. It would do only what the computer wanted to do. Um, you, <laughs> I'm not, I again when when it was working sort of half properly, I went through um, stuff on the net, trying to work this out and getting the information of how to stop it. From doing such and such and such and such. But every time you did this. You took this action. It would. It, once you close the computer down and come back again. It would it would go back to what it was. The computer. The computer was acting on its own. You know. It's hard to define. You, you've got to have had Norton's. And uh, things like that. To understand why. And when you come to uninstall it. That you can't, it, you literally cannot install it because it's ingrained into the into the computer. Um, like I say, you could do all these options and keep trying to change what happens, and you can't. You can't. And setting up, when I first set this up, it was the most ambiguous setup I've ever gone through. It was completely and utterly alien to me. Um, I didn't understand half of it, and you know, I, I know I'm not a, a an expert, but um, I'm pretty au fait with computers, laptops, but I've never experienced anything like this. No, never, I, you know, I've got to be the most unlucky person there is on this planet. I reckon, um, it's mind boggling. It's mind boggling what Microsoft are doing and that's how I would say this because you do not have control of your laptop or your computer I would imagine it's the same whether whether it could boil down to someone having this computer before me and it's gone back um, and come come back out as as new it wouldn't surprise me. But then um, I should have been made aware that this was a refurbished or an item that's come back um, as such that it's, you know, it's been sold before. Um, there, and again, <laughs> and again, I've had this problem with other items. Um, it happened to me with a, a gamer's keyboard. It was brilliant. I can't remember the name of the shop. It was something men, men gadgets, something like that. It's some, it's, it popped up for Christmas. To, uh, it popped up for Christmas two years. Was it two years ago? Men's own was it? Men's own gadgets, something like that. Anyway, um, and it only stayed this shop only stayed there for Christmas period. Anyway, I bought this um, keyboard, got it home, and it wouldn't work. It wouldn't work, and um, there was no instructions in this box. Uh, and I took it straight back, and this bloke came out, and in the uh, Oh, yeah, blah, 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 blah. And I said, you know what? I said, you're lying to me. I said, because I know from what you're saying that that is totally untrue. 
you've sold this, it's come back to you, and you've just re-stuck labels and things over it to make it look like it's, it's new. So I said, no, I'll have my money back, thanks. And he tried everything, trying to get me to um, walk away with this keyboard. And I said, no. I said, you're not going to have this one, mate. I said, I'm growing, what, I'm growing wise in my old age. Um, <laughs> it's a costly performance, mind you, growing wise. Um, yeah. Uh, but I mean, that looks, does that not look pretty real to you? Does that not look pretty real? And um, same thing again. Contact Windows helpline, blah, blah, blah. Now, what was on that email um, in Pogo? It's the same thing. Um, it's the same scam. So, I don't believe it is the computer's been sold before and come back. I don't believe that. Because this is coming from an ad. And like I say, this takes you back to AOL. I'll, I'll stick with AOL because AOL was prolific. Prolific. If you clicked on a pop-up at the wrong time, you know, if you was doing something like a game and this pop-up popped up and you clicked on it, your, that was done. Your, your computer was finished. Because it, it, as soon as you opened up this pop-up, it downloaded a, well, this says a tro Trojan spyware. Um, and it, yeah, Trojan spyware, that's what it did. And and, um, and what you used to find with that was uh, it sends out a ping, this spyware. It sends out a ping, and then you get... Um, bombarded uh, it will get into your email and it will bombard your email with all these uh, crap and of course each of this crap that's been put on your computer is pinging <laughs> so um, you know uh, diabolical um, and I may be talking out of turn but I don't think I am I had this with Yahoo uh, this was all way before um decent computers um, and I threatened Yahoo with taking them to court because um, it was pawn um, what would happen you, you'd end up having pawn if you clicked on the wrong box and uh, AOL was slightly different I mean it was pawn as well that you you know if you was like if your mind was focused on what you was actually doing and this pop up appeared you wouldn't know you just wouldn't know and again with the free pogo it's exactly the same um and it happened on another game site called winster winster um and this is how i know this is how i know um cuz pogo's followed this game site and i left this game site simply because of that and um yeah as soon as it um it went away from being a game site dedicated game site and it introduced what they call free a free site once that split happened is when you get all this this is what you get this stuff um but this is not a pop up this is an ad this is an ad in uh whatever you're doing uh, whatever you're looking at this is an ad and you click on that completely by again completely by mistake because you don't know it's an ad the 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 little tiny writing because if you're looking at um elements uh, boxes that are they're the same size as a news item and this is what you'll get this is what you get with edge this is what you get with Edge. I've never seen it before on anything else. They incorporate ads into boxes that are exactly the same size as a news item. So that gives you a clue what I'm talking about. So you don't know. Unless you look at the tiny little writing 
at the bottom of the box which tells you it's an ad. Because once you've opened it, this is what you get. So it's exactly the same principle, but it's worse. Because it's not even a pop-up, it's ingrained into uh, a legitimate site. Um, and as far as I'm concerned, that says that tells a story about Edge. That literally tells a story about Edge. So I don't give a stuff about this computer now. I mean, they, what can happen to it, it can happen to it. I'm not even worried about Poke, mind you. I'm leaving Pogo in a couple of days' time. But, um, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I've learned a very valuable lesson here. But make sure you know what you're buying. And um, you can't even rely. This is the worst thing about this is you can't even rely on virus protection. Um, I may be wrong there, but I don't think I am. I don't think I am. I have had this. Uh, I have had this on this computer, where it said um, it warns you. It warns you. It it'll block a site, warning you that uh, it's unreliable or um, been known to um, uh, be dangerous. But um, if I'm just I'm just wondering from that scenario that happened, whether you could accidentally do it, and I don't think you can. And I'll tell you what uh, I've had where this has happened before with this, so you can compare it to this. Was with Virgin. I may be wrong. It's either Vodafone or Virgin. Uh, oh, jeez, I've got to go back in time for that as well. It's not on this computer it's happened. I'm talking about a different computer. And it would come up that you, you could not access. That it wouldn't let you access. It would not let you access. So you couldn't do it by mistake. Yeah, that's what it was. And it just would not let you connect to the the problem site now that's what should be happening with this that's exactly what should be happening with this microsoft should be saying before you get to this stage of this what you're seeing on on screen um it should be saying no you can't even get to it but it's not so microsoft and defender if this is a defender issue are flawed and surely and this is where I sort of get um, uh, confused because you would think, you would think, you wouldn't get this, you wouldn't get this old contact blah 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 because that's just not, you, you wouldn't, I mean I, I haven't. Um, I've tried doing this through feedback with Microsoft, not through calling them. Um, and I would, I, I would trust because um, it is Microsoft that I'm dealing with, and I'm, I'm beginning to even doubt that now. I'm beginning to even doubt that now. Um, I don't know. The trouble is your brain gets frazzled. <laughs> or at least mine does. It doesn't take a lot really. But. Because um, you've got all this stuff. Flying around in your head. Of experiences of old. Um, but I've got to say. I have got to say. So whether my computer is actually. Compromised. When I, get, when I got this. And others. After the initial first happening um you can stop these boxes from opening uh, you know well no no that's not true that's not what i meant to say you can click on the x's you know the x there the x there um and it will close these boxes will close now but that's after the first thing um 
but uh, you know, I, 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 I don't know what difference that makes. I really don't know what difference that makes. Wherever it tells you that your computer is infected, I'm, I'm not, I'm not sure. But as far as I'm concerned, the worst thing you could do is click the allow or uh, phone that number. You, you know, you just, you wouldn't do it. And, um, I mean, I've not even read the, the, the stuff on here. Uh, you know, because the first thing that comes in your head is, oh, shit, you're being attacked. Um, I mean, it looks pretty legit. I've got to say, that looks legit. But as Microsoft seemed to be not doing anything, I would has hasten to say that it's not legit. Um, you know, that sort of proves it. But I don't know. Maybe someone on the internet can... Uh, I, don't, well, I don't know how they can in, uh, get in contact with me, but... Um, maybe this has happened to other people. I mean, maybe I should go on YouTube and... Um, see around... Uh, I could actually even go into the internet. Uh, yeah, see, you can see, you can see on the right in there in red, app ads, finance track two, which is a bit worrying, DOL, threat detected Trojan spyware. Well, a DOL file, you don't delete DOL files. At least that's what I remember of old. Whether that's true or not today, I don't know. Because um, DOL files are... Oh, how do I explain it? See, now I'm thinking of that. It's true, this, could, this computer could have come out and been retaken back. And it's been sold. Because I don't think... I don't know, no... I'm I'm sort of making things up now, um, because oh I I just remember that DOL files are files that are of oh, oh I wish I could understand what I'm trying to explain the the things that you should not delete from your computer the files that you should not delete. Um, which would affect that computer from working properly. See, and now you've just heard me say that. Does that not say that this has happened before on this computer? And someone's taken it back and said, blah, blah, blah. It doesn't work. Because unless you actually know what your what you can remember... You know, if you've, if you've, like, if this had happened to me the first time and um, I took it back, I wouldn't have been able to say without looking at this what I saw. All I would have been able to say is it was three boxes that popped up, the computer seized up, and, um, you know, you managed to force shut down, and that was it. You, I mean, I, even looking at this now, I would find it hard to describe from memory what it is. Um, because the way these boxes opened, like you say, like I say, you can't see what the information is behind three boxes. And you can't close one box down. You have to close it all down as one thing. So, I mean, looking at that, could you actually say what it is? I mean, the normal person, such as me, um, you see all that, and the first thing you want to do is close it down. You, you, you're you not going to be worried about, you know, if you're, if you're, um, uh, if you'd experience this, uh, you know, it's, it's panic. That's what comes. 
And it says you you must call us immediately so that it's en- so that our engineer can walk you through the pro- removal process. Your P- PC is disabled. For the first time, it was my computer was disabled. I couldn't do a damn thing with it. I really couldn't do a damn thing with it. But uh, well, and the other time that I mentioned, which was nothing, nothing to do with having Edge open. Uh, or was it? See, this is the thing you, you. I had, I had two windows open actually. I did. I had the pogos, the pogo screen, and the. The edge, but I wasn't searching edge. Was I? Was I doing YouTube? I think I was doing YouTube. Yeah, the two windows I had open was uh, YouTube and Pogo. And that's what originally um, made me think it was Pogo was the issue. Um, especially having that, that um, email sent to me. Which is, is the basic thing of what this, the essence of what this is trying to do. Um... But anyway, uh, I don't really care much now what happens to this, so uh, it can get attacked and whatever. I won't be ever joining Pogo again now, that's for sure. I would never ever join that site again um, because they're a bunch of shysters. (laughs) It seems like America's really in the pits of... um, I won't say it. Cesspit. They're in a cesspit, and uh, I feel sorry for America, mainly because I'm sorry for myself now. But um, this is going to become a problem, and I feel sorry for anybody that uses Microsoft Edge. That's all I can say. Um, and you're relying on Windows Defender. Um, maybe Microsoft can prove me wrong. But I don't think they will. I don't think they will. Um, I think this computer is compromised. And um, it's too late. Uh, Because if this is a DLL file. You would have to completely. uh, I'm not even sure that you would be able to wipe the. Um. Wipe the hard drive. I don't believe you can. I, yeah, I, I I don't believe that that would would be an option to even even if you could to try wiping your hard drive. It depends, I suppose, because I can't remember what this DOL file is. Whether it's in, no, I don't believe it is in the software. It's in, yeah, I, I, I could be wrong. I could be wrong. I believe that the, if the DOL file is corrupted, you'd have to put a new drive in. I'm pretty sure, but just because I really. I'm I'm trying to scrape my brain as to what a DOL file. I'll have a look after this when I put it down. I'll look it up on the net. Um, uh, yeah. Uh, so that's what I should do now, and I'll uh, let you uh, laugh at my video <laughs> because I really don't know. <laughs> Ah, uh, dear, oh dear. Talk about scams. Anyway, so there you go. Leave me a comment in YouTube as to what you believe this is and DOL files. Um, but I will go and have a look myself now. Uh, and if you think, yeah, I'd just like to hear from other people what they think. 
um, if they've experienced this or or not, and whether that it is recoverable or not. Um, I can't see that I'm the first person that's gone through this, I'm sure. Um, anyway, thanks for listening. Um, I won't ask you to, to like and describe <laughs> because I'm not the most coherent of people in the first place. Anyway, yeah, thanks a lot. Ta-da.